Hey everyone, John Henry here, and today in the Market Psychology video, we're going to be taking a look at the good old S&P. Now, the S&P overall gave us some, some pretty interesting clues today. First of all, we had a big gap up from yesterday's close, and that was after that nice, strong rally towards the end of the day, right? Beautiful rally at the end of the day. They pulled back and we opened gap higher. There are going to be a lot of buyers that are really happy about that, so you'd expect a small pullback and then maybe a continuation of the trend. But then we need to start putting this in context, right? Where did we open? Well, we opened inside yesterday completely, right? Smack in the middle, pretty much, a little bit towards the highs. But still, right in the middle of yesterday's movement. We did open above that prior obvious swing high. So we may see somewhat of a breakout pullback type scenario to that swing before the buyers can continue the movement. But then we get the first candle of the day, and it tells us, well, wait a minute, something isn't quite right here. Doji right off the bat, bunch of wick on the highs, bunch of wick on the lows, closes smack in the middle. So that tells us, well, wait a minute, this may not be a trend. We may actually have some signs of a range instead. We need to see what happens, right? We need to see what they want to do. Can they break out, pull back, and continue the bullish trend? Maybe, and if that is the case, then we need to be looking for a good continuation to the upside, probably to break through the prior high of day. We get the breakout, they get the pullback, beautiful hold on that low, they only close through it once and immediately close back up and couldn't get back down underneath it. And that is a big sign that buyers are taking over in that area, and that is a beautiful reason to buy it, looking for that move back up through the highs. This is where we start running into a little bit of a problem, though. We get back to the highs, and they can't even close past it, right? Well, we had a doji that started the day. The breakdown failed, and now the break up is also failing. That is a big, big red flag that something is wrong, right? We're no longer in a possible bull trend. If it was, that should have been able to close through those highs, continue up, go back to the prior high of day, and, and keep going right? They couldn't do that. They closed weekly at the highs. And that is a clue that if you are still long and you haven't gotten your targets off to exit and possibly even reverse, knowing that this is potentially turning into a range, the risk reward is phenomenal, right? Stop just above the highs and you're looking for a move right back down to the lows and maybe even further to fill the gap. So you switch gears into what once was a potential bullish day, breakout pullback looking for continuation, we've now turned into a range day. Now we need to be looking to buy low and sell high and stay as far away from the middle as possible. We sell high, we get a beautiful move down to the lows, they push down into the lows and we start seeing some bouncing off of monthly support. They miss the gap fill, so there may be a chance that it comes back still, but this bouncing is telling you that they're probably done with this move in the short term and we're gonna get a bounce where where likely back to once was support turns into resistance and that is exactly where the market went beautiful bounce in terms of the drive back up again it doesn't look like the sellers are done and that may just be because they have an area of potential wedge maybe a channel forming like that uh and they're gunning for the lows and they may also be looking for the gap fill so don't be super surprised if you see another sell attempt down but buyers are buying every attempt lower right now knowing that we are low and they're looking to buy down here so that they can sell high. So very interesting combination of both technical analysis and market psychology and just a phenomenal day in general of learning especially. So hopefully you found this useful, hopefully you found it interesting and you learned something, and we'll see you next time.